G'day guys, welcome to my studio. Well, it's not really a studio, it's a chair with a chopping board. I got kicked out of the kitchen, my dogs won't stop barking. In this dough bait, I was taught this when I was a kid. I was taught this at five, six years old. It was, it was my nan's secret recipe and it started with flour. The next ingredients that we had with the flour was garlic, then sausage mince, and the other thing was tasty cheese. So there's the ingredients, and now we're gonna show you how easy this is to make it before my neighbor starts his mower. Right, let's put this away. First of all, we start with a bit of flour. It's gonna be messy. Everything I do is messy. Right. I've got a little bit of water here. Oops, see, already messy. You think a tradie would level off the bench, but no, nah, not me. Just gonna keep adding a little bit of water here. Start to get all lumpy. Just a dash more, and then we can start. And basically, there's our dough. Just keep tipping little bits of water. If you go too much, just add some more flour to it. I'm not going to make a big batch. Normally, I'd make like probably the equivalent of three cricket balls. I hope I got this camera at the right angle. Seems to be. Right, next bit sausage mince. Not the most attractive thing to see, but I'm going to squish that all in with our flour. Probably should have pulled the cheese out before my hands got like this. But anyway, can we get the cheese? Fine. That's got to get all mashed together. Um, that's the secret to the dough bait. It's not so much the ingredients. So yeah, 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 whatever. It's not so much the ingredients. It's it's the the beating of the the dough. When we were kids, we used to get dropped off at Nan's before we went on holidays. We'd make big batches of this up. It'll last for days, weeks, and. Uh, we used to sit there all night just pounding these into big thick cricket balls. I mean, when you go home from school or work and you walk into the house and you can smell the garlic and that coming from the kitchen, it makes you hungry. So this bait got one attractant which is the smell of it and then the other side of it is the taste All right. I'm gonna to have to add more flour to this but you get the gist of it it's just a big mix it's gonna be a mess by the time I finish and the good thing is this is Ben's chair Come on, get out of there. Oops, way too much. Not really, I'll just add more water.
and you can still see it like meat and cheese and dough when we're finished it's got to be completely blended together we don't want to just pull out a piece of meat out of the middle of it we want everything to be one Keep working this in. This is the fun bit. Once you get the, the grubby mixing of all the dough and that made, and you just get it into a ball. And you have belief in this bait. You get anticipation of the fish you're gonna catch. You go to bed dreaming about big fish. If you're wondering why I've got the pink elephant there, it's a flag I scored in the, I didn't score, I bought it off a guy in a tackle shop with a marlin and a tuna flag. And uh, we, the company that made them still, still going, still makes flags, but they don't make that one. And I want to put it in a plastic sleeve so it doesn't get destroyed. So it's just hanging there at the moment as a backdrop, instead of an ugly chair. You can see it start to take shape. All right, this is the pounding stage. What I might do is break that into two pieces. I'll make two dough balls. Now this dough ball should. I think I just said it before, it should last a couple of weeks. So when you, what you don't use, I just normally wrap in Glad Wrap and just keep it in the fridge. And there's the ball. And that's basically what I'm going to do is spend, usually when we were kids it was a TV show each ball. Oh, we should keep doing that. Sitting in the lounge watching telly, obviously with clean hands and everything, and keep pounding it. And then once you do that, we change it, we mash it again. And now you can see it's, you can't really see the cheese, the meat, the anything in it. It just looks like dough now. When you pinch a pinch off, well not ready yet but you just got a little ball and once it's ready this will hold on a hook like it, it won't just wash off at the moment it will but once we finish pounding this into a dough bait it'll just you just take a pinch roll it into the sort of bait you want to suit the hook and there you have it So yeah, there you go. It's it's garlic, flour, cheese, and sausage mince. And it's as simple as that. You can add other things to it. There's other different dough baits around, but this is the one my nan taught me, and she was one of the best fishermen I've ever met. And uh, back in those days, the old boys used to come up to her and say, "Tell us your secret," and there's no way she'd tell anyone. But this is it, and then secret day bait. So once I'm finished all those, anything cheesy, like it, you can cut it, you want to keep shredding it, working it. Just keep pounding it and pounding it. And by tomorrow, this bait will be ready. It's ready now, but by tomorrow it's it's done done. Fred! One of the best things about this bait, it's a very clean bait. It uh, you can take your kids out, just take a little pinch off. 
it's not messy it's not like a bag of prawns going rotten in the heat and you'll catch just as many fish with this as pretty well any bait well i highly recommend it this hawks river prawns hawks river squid three best baits you can use yeah the other thing is is um i just picked up that mess in my little homemade studio put it in the kitchen i've got my bait Ben's chair looks pretty clean, he won't know. He's sitting on sausage. And uh, we can go fishing now.